y'all didn't ask for this but then again maybe you did because you clicked on this video and you hear what's good so i was listening to hiss the other day by megan the stallion and baby the looks were a giving but there's one in particular that i wanted to try it on myself was the one that she had the red blush the red lips baby it was it it was fire it was yum 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 eight left no crumbs and so today I wanted to go ahead and try that. But I also wanted to talk about what was going on. Now, this is not one of those gossip channels. But baby, I want to talk about a little bit of pop culture and what we can learn from Megan and Nikki. And then just do a little makeup, get a little cute or whatever. Oh, by the way, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra, also known as Dear Alex. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to become one of my real friends if you're a returning subscriber make yourself comfortable you're no longer a guest and so we're gonna get right into the video I need something new. What I'm putting on my face right now, this is the e.l.f. primer. So this is the Power Grip, of course. You guys know this is my favorite. If you're a returning subscriber, this is my fave, fave, fave of all times. And I just love how it just, ugh, yeah. The makeup just grips to your skin when you put this on. I'll go ahead and link this in the description box down below so that you guys can give it a try and see if it's something that you love. As you see, I probably need to go ahead and get me another one. Oh, you know what? How am I gonna start this without my mirrors, y'all? I need my mirrors. I'll be right back. So y'all, I was just returning from my nice little vacation cruise to Mexico and I get on my social media and I'm like, child, not the drama. Just being real, like if you guys caught the line that or the shot that was made at Nikki, tell me what it was, cause I don't know if I missed it or what happened, but I feel like I missed the line. Um, maybe I'm not as much in in like the know of what people are doing for real, for real, cause baby, I missed it, and everybody's like, oh, she just she said two words and sent Nikki on a rampage, and I'm like, I didn't catch the two words. I'm still over here like five days later, legit still like, <laughs> what were the two words that were said? Cause I wanna know if it was shady. This uh, dual thing that you guys see me using, this is from Elf Cosmetics. This is the brow gel and also the lash gel so that it holds my product on it as well. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think about it. I feel it's simply amazing. If you guys would like to know how was my cruise on Carnival Cruise to Mexico, go ahead and comment down below. And let me know, hey, I want the tea on the cruise, baby. And I will do my makeup and tell y'all how it went. In order to achieve this look, I'm going to go ahead and sculpt out my brows, child. I really haven't unpacked much of anything, which is why I got all these bags. But we'll get that taken care of sooner rather than later. And I'm using my small mirror. I really like my small up-close mirror. Let me know how y'all feel about that, too. Because I have this big mirror, which is where my camera is mounted on the big mirror. But, something about this mirror just being in my face that I just really enjoy. Something that I said immediately whenever I heard the track from Nikki's response to Megan was you really gotta be selective with who you're gonna be friends with. And we can't think that just because, oh, we do the same thing or we have similar interests that we're gonna be best friends. And I don't know about y'all, but baby, I don't want the tea on Megan's mom or what happened with Megan mom or whatever Nikki feel like she has to offer on the part two. Don't want that actually, because I think that's a low blow. And all the people that's running to, to, to her grave site, you're weird. What's your problem? One thing that we can learn is that just because we have similar interests, just because we might do some of the same things or hang around the same people, it doesn't mean we're friends. It doesn't mean that I can confide in you. And as a matter of fact, 
I recommend that you don't confide in such people. Like they, they need to actually build um, that type of trust with you. Are you guys familiar with the underpainting? So it's where you do like some of your contour underneath. That's what we're gonna give a go right now. What I just put on my under eye is Black Opal. Camilla Dream. So I'm gonna do my contouring with the uh, Rich Ebony from e.l.f. It is definitely time for me to get some more of this. And I'm, I don't like to do my nose as an underpainting situation. Maybe I should do my nose. I, I haven't did it in a minute. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's just try that. Let's just try to do our nose. I personally don't don't want the tea on Nikki's mom. I mean, uh, Megan's mom. You can save that, Nikki. We don't want that. We don't want the part two. Actually, I don't want the drama. Like, some of this stuff could be, like, talked about. Because I feel like, and I hope that whenever somebody mentions what was the bar that was stated about Nikki, that it is not something so petty because child, I'm gonna looking like, mm, mm We're gonna use this brush from uh, Wet n Wild. This brush is one that I'm going to use for my nose. I can't even blend that point out for those eyebrows yet, child. Comment below and tell me again, have you guys ever tried underpainting? Do you like underpainting? How do you like to do your contour whenever you're doing your contour? Now, I don't have all the things to do this full look, but what I do have is a wheel <laughs> to make a way. All right, something that I didn't do that I need to go ahead and do is color correct. As you guys see down here, it is darker. And so I need to find my color correct thing. Um, yeah, I got it. I got it. Ooh, doing makeup just gets so messy, y'all. <laughs> I bought this little um, tape clutch from Amazon. I love it so much, it's so cute. And I've had it for quite some time now. I just pulled it out for my trip. And um, I was like, this would be cute to put my makeup in since I don't necessarily wear it all the time. I can just store makeup in it. What's good? Don't you ever switch it up. I've seen some people use like white um, concealer for their color correcting. Tell me how y'all feel about that. I truly love having this orange I feel because my undertones are kind of reddish orange. It's just, yeah. The color corrector was from uh, Pro Concealer, LA Pro Concealer. This is something that I picked up from like the beauty store, the hair store. Um, and it's rather old, it's time to get some more of that too. Alrighty, and the foundation that I'm gonna use today is one that I am growing to really love. It is called Forever Skin Glow by Dior. And one pump, y'all, watch. One pump is all I did. And then I'm gonna take my finger, okay? Take my finger and put it on the spots where I don't really have like concealer and such. I mean, up here I do, but we're just gonna still put it there because I need to eventually make my way down to here. Yes, I am still gonna put it on there and not really worry about the concealer. This has SPF in it. And I picked this up from Sephora, it was $60. Um, this is more so on the expensive side for foundations, but it's one that I would absolutely purchase again. It, it gives a medium to full coverage. And I enjoy that too, cause it's not too much, but y'all just watch how it blends out. Originally, I wanted to do, I wanted to kind of like uh, review NARS cause so many people love NARS and like live by it, but NARS just wasn't showing up on me right. Like I went into the store several times and <laughs> I did the color match and the color match did great when you're going based on your chest, which is how you're supposed to normally color match, period. But when I got back home and I put it on and it started to dry down, baby, I looked like an olive garden. Do y'all see how beautiful that is? I do. It's so beautiful. And now to our blush. So she has some blush up here. I need to go to the picture again. So let me see if I can pull that up. So it does look like it came off of the eyeshadow line. 
and into her hairline and then back down this way. So I am gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. As you guys know, I love the red anyway. This is not anything new for me, but <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that going. Okay, so I think I put a little bit too much. Um, she do all this, but then I put her head, my hands on her. Woo, Jesus. Now I'm gonna come to this side and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my um, eyeshadow on this side. And it's so funny because I feel like whenever I'm doing a look, one side always looks better than the other. I wonder which side is gonna be on this. I'm really nervous about this look because sometimes it could look too harsh. I'm trying to get that triangular motion still and then push that into the hairline is what I'm trying to do. Gotta blend up. I'm used to blending down. <laughs> Woo, guys. All right, I do think I need a little bit of more of that powder so that we can kind of flush down the tone. We're gonna do some concealer here and there. coming out looking like you know similar to the look we're trying to go for I'm gonna wait on the inner corner of the highlight but this is the lip definitely had like the top lip look more black than the bottom lip let's see okay it was lined a bit yeah but the top was still filled in more than the bottom so I do not have any red lipstick but I am trying this um, blush that is supposed to be like a sangria color and this is what it looks like when I swatched it on my hand and I'm just gonna see if I can actually have it come out looking any type of red on my lips. It's not necessarily the red that we're going for. Let's see. This red looks very similar to what is on my cheeks because it is a blush. I need a really red red. All right, so I found this red from Maybelline. Hopefully this will get us where we wanna be. I did my lips off camera, but the, pretty much, cause my daughter had to use the bathroom. But the red looks like it might be all right. This is from Milani as well. And I'm going to put this as like the highlighter. So this is what it looks like, this color right here. Oh, that's a nice highlighter. Okay, 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 okay. All right, and that is the finished oh look. So if you guys really enjoyed this look, definitely go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Um, again, make sure you subscribe to my channel to become one of my real friends. Go ahead and also click that notification bell so that you do not miss any time that I upload a post. And um, yeah, something that we're just gonna learn is to make sure we know who our friends are. But I'll see you guys on the next video.